Hey everyone, hope you're all having a good Thursday afternoon. Well, I've not been able to film much of what I've been doing. And you can see all the water and mud underneath here. That That's not off this tractor, by the way. I just got done washing up the 30-foot disc that we had behind this tractor. And I just set the disc off and got it all unhooked and parked for the year. Well, I'll take that back for the spring. I did find a bearing on one of the disc gangs I got to replace. But I've been uh, cleaning. I got got the old garden hose here. Got kind of like a big brass nozzle. You can see it's got a big end on it. And the um, reason why I've not been filming much is because this morning I was actually finishing up on the soybean planter, washing it all down. And you blasting out a, out a great big stream of water you hit in like corners and that kind of stuff and want to spray right back on you and i don't want to get my phone wet and so I, that's why i couldn't exactly film a whole lot let's see here i might be a hose a little bit you can see yeah there we go you got to be careful it'll walk right back around and blast you with the blast you I can wash a little bit here until well I can say though I just gotta watch hitting the corners I don't get a bunch of splash back and hit right into my phone's camera and or the microphone but this is what I always do every year once we um uh, well, in the spring and then also in the fall when we get done with field work, I always take and hose them all down and clean them all up. Now, some guys will use a power washer. The reason why I don't use it like using a power washer is because you can end up, you can end up spraying water and actually forcing water into bearings and that kind of stuff that you do not want to have water forced into and so that's why i use this big nozzle on the end kind of like a big fire hose nozzle and you can see it puts out a nice big stream and that's just from a simple submersible house pump but i also run a three quarter inch garden hose that does help I always like to get off underneath the cab, underneath the fenders and that kind of thing, wash it all out. And now I do use my power washer. I'll take those um, uh, grill covers off right there. And I always use the power washer on the radiator and the oil, the transmission and hydraulic oil cooler. Uh, let's see here. Well, come to think of it, the transmission, the, the hydraulic oil and transmission cooler is all one cooler. And then also, of course, the, let's see, what else? Oh, yeah, the air conditioner condenser. I take and power wash all that out along with the radiator. And so, yeah, that's just a little bit of what I've been up to today. Doing a little cleanup on the old 48. But like I say, I've not been able to do a whole lot because as you can see, when I start hit, hitting into areas like that or like in the, into that wheel, uh, hitting into that light fixture, you, you just, yeah, you just saw that. It wants to splash back and I don't want to hit, hit my phone. And so I'm going to take and cut this video short so that's gonna just gonna be a little short video of what i've been up to today take care thanks for watching we'll see you next time